The museum was started in 94, uh, when, uh, or we opened in 94, but uh, this event has been going on since 86, when the governor had our homecoming 86. We did activities all week then, but we only do it, and this is our 23rd year, and we developed the museum and several other activities and projects here in Inglewood. Pancake breakfast has been the most fun of all, I guess, and the museum is great too. Okay, want to give us a little tour? Sure. Okay. Uh, this is uh, this booth is all about the beginning of Inglewood, um, how it started in uh, the, the first place down below Inglewood, and they they employed children and whatever at that time. Okay. And this is a uh, how I um, spinning mill, spinning wheel, spinning wheel, the yarn winder, and lots of things. We we tell the story of the woman because men have the um, duck town, copper mines. Etowah has the railroad, and this town is about the textiles, and and the women worked mostly in the textile mill. So, actually, when we say textile, it doesn't mean just material. It means socks. We were a sock town. It had 25 mills at one time, and last October uh, 90 of 2008, it closed the last one. So, mostly we had socks. We did have one fabric place, and, of course, the railroad played a big part and each booth represents some time period. This was the Depression uh, time period when mm -hmm. they made chenille uh, bedspreads. I see. And um, tells about their canning and, and such. And then this is coming out of the Depression. And that, that belongs, that sewing machine belonged to a mill owner's wife. Uh, that's some of the first television mm -hmm. and little wash machines and then of course and then up on the, these are some of the most unique sewing machines that we have in the museum mm. and when you look into in the inside there is a mill set up inside this this, uh -huh. this area that's here that's a lady that is doing loopers she's a looper and She's making so, socks. Yes, yeah, she. The, those machines to the right make the socks, and then she so, puts it on that machine. It sews the toe and cuts that little string off that people make pot holders out of. Isn't that interesting? Look at that old safe too. Mm -hmm. That came out of one of the mills. One of the mills. This one they used to pay in cash, not checks, yeah. right? <laughs> and then this is the last mill. Those pictures there, and it was all computerized and it's no longer here since October of last year. Since October 2008. Right. That's just another sewing machine. Then of course this is a loom and we do have a lady who comes in and, and at different times weaves on it. And, and it still works. Mm -hmm, yeah. And in fact we had a demonstration just this past uh, two or three months uh, where the school kids came and did it. That's a replica of our depot that we don't have no more. Replica of the depot. And this this is old and mailboxes. This is about the businesses and our town in the night starting in the nineteen hundreds. And then that's some of the homes and the churches, activities, and then that's uh, an aerial view of the maybe in the seventy sixties. Look at all 70s. these hats, ladies' hats. Don't forget we're promoting women. Who is this lovely lady? She's the one who thought of all this. <laughs> you thought Helen of all this? Helen Brown. Helen Brown? She's the one who said we needed to tell the story of our town. Wow. She's the one who got us in all this. <laughs> okay, yes.